people who go to bed after 11 p.m. are more likely to binge on alcohol, caffeine, and junk food. For many people, it is the stuff dreams are made of, going to bed before 11 p.m. every night of the week. But more often than not, the pressures of trying to maintain a healthy work-life balance get in the way of the best of intentions. However, a team of scientists have warned, failing to get to bed at a reasonable time may be detrimental to a person's health. As well as leaving a person exhausted, staying up until the early hours can cause their waistline to expand. People who go to bed later are far more likely to indulge in unhealthy foods than those who lay down between 7 p.m. and 11 p.m., a new study found. Night owls consume more alcohol, caffeine, and sugar than early birds, taking in an average 220 more calories each day, according to data from fitness tracker app Jawbone Up. Night owls who go to bed after 11 p.m. are far more more likely to indulge in unhealthy late-night snacks, and consume an extra 220 calories per day, than those who go to bed earlier, according to data from fitness tracker company Jawbone. The study suggests that to lose weight, a person should go to bed earlier. People who go to bed earlier eat healthier, consuming more vegetables, fruits, high-fiber carbohydrates, lean proteins, and heart-healthy fats, according to Jawbone. Meanwhile, those who go to bed late ingest more caffeine, alcohol, sugars, processed carbohydrates and other unhealthy options. Jawbone suggests that to lose weight, a person should go to bed earlier, and thereby cut out those extra calories and unhealthy snacks. The Jawbone Up is a wearable device and app that tracks a person's fitness, caloric intake, lifestyle, and sleep. Evidence suggests that poor sleep affects the release of hormones, such as ghrelin, leptin, and insulin, that regulate hunger and satiety. Previous studies that have restricted sleep have seen people eat more calories, especially in the form of snacks. Thus, the company conducted a study of hundreds of thousands of UP users to determine the precise effect that sleep has on calorie intake. The sample of UP users had an average bedtime of 11.23 pm. The study found that UP users who were normal weight went to bed at around 9.30 pm each day. They logged 220 fewer calories the next day than those who went to bed at 2.30 am. UP users who were already overweight or obese, based on their body mass index, only logged more calories when their bedtimes were between 10 pm and 2 am. The company was able to look at users' sleep data and identify aspects that predicted how much they'd eat the rest of the week. Having an inconsistent bedtime, which varies by more than an hour, causes a person to consume 245 more calories a week, the study found. And, getting more REM sleep leads to 161 more calories, while having a later average bedtime increases a person's calorie intake by 147 and getting less sleep boosts it by 112 calories. Furthermore, what time a person goes to sleep was found to dictate whether the foods they ingest are healthy or not. Jawbone data scientist and clinical psychologist Kristen Ashbacher wrote, early birds tended to eat healthier foods on the whole. People who went to bed between 7 p.m. and 11 p.m. are more likely to eat vegetables, fruits, high-fiber carbohydrates, more lean proteins and heart-healthier fats. In contrast, those who went to bed between 11 p.m. and 3 a.m. tended to indulge in less healthy options, such as processed carbohydrates, saturated fats, and processed meats. Ms. Ashbacher wrote, This builds on our previous findings that people log more meals high in fats and sugars late in the evening. To demonstrate how getting more sleep could change a person's calorie intake, the study gave the example of a 30-year-old woman named Julia who wants to lose 10 pounds. Julia has a typical bedtime of 12 a.m., and gets less than six hours of sleep each night. Some nights, she's up until 2 a.m., 
snacking, while other nights, she collapses in bed at 9 p.m. out of exhaustion. But by setting reminders on her up app, Julia changes her bedtime to 10.30 p.m., and her sleep patterns become more consistent. She starts going to bed between 10 and 11 p.m. each night, and sleeps more than 7 hours on average each night. Jawbone estimates that by changing her behavior, she would ingest 100 fewer calories each day. With 3,500 calories equating to a pound in weight over the course of a year, she would lose 10 pounds. Ms. Asherbacher wrote, These predictions are just a rough estimate based on our model, there are certainly many other factors we have not captured. However, we hope this paints a picture of what a good night's sleep might do.